our solar system consists of our star, the Sun, and everything linked to it by gravity. Like planets, dwarf planets, moons, asteroids, comets and meteoroids. Between the Sun and the Earth there are two planets, Mercury and Venus. The one nearest to the Sun is Mercury. It's also the smallest planet in our solar system and its size is just a bit larger than our Moon. If you were there in Mercury, you would see the Sun three times larger from what you are used to see from Earth. Thanks to NASA Messenger spacecraft, we have now much more information about Mercury. And we have also beautiful and interesting pictures of Mercury's surface. Day temperatures on Mercury can reach heights of 800 Fahrenheit degrees or 430 Celsius. However, as it has no atmosphere to retain that heat at night, temperatures there can dip so low as minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius. Now that's cold. Those extremely hot and cold temperatures on the surface of the planet, in addition to the solar radiation, makes very unlikely the existence of life. Well, at least life as we know it. <laughs> and while I was in the salt pains with my kids... Okay, let's watch it. And of course, I will not disappoint my children, so we will going to watch Mercury today with my 12-inch Dobsonian, a ZWO294MC color camera and a laptop. And to watch Mercury visually, I prefer them to do it in naked eye. With a telescope, they can inadvertently point to the sun and I don't want that, it's dangerous. Besides, Mercury is so bright that it's better to watch it visually at naked eye or with a camera as we are going to do. And here I am with a 12 inch Dobsonian ready to go. I'm starting to focus the telescope and to do that I'm using Jupiter. Of course people that have children should know that children usually can't stand more than a few seconds around. So I'm doing this alone, enjoying the serenity of the moment. Wonderful sunset moments. Being too early, I took the chance to watch Saturn planet. Preparing myself for the height moment of the evening to catch Mercury planet. Will I make it? Meanwhile, my children have a good advice for you if you like this kind of content. Please subscribe and give it a like. <laughs> of course. Saturn is beautiful, but we are here for Mercury, and it's time to catch it. It's relatively easy to do it, because it is so bright. And as I have the tail rad and the finder well aligned, it's easy to center the planet. Wait, here it is! It looks like a small fireball. That's it. Easy, easy, don't let it run away, easy. Okay, it's centered. Now my heart is pumping fast. Time to reduce that exposure time. Watch out, it's running away. We have to recenter it. Just don't let it go away. And this takes time and the night is falling, of course. My wife is with me, waiting for the moment. And now finally it's getting dark. And I'm recording an AV file. Of 
course, all of this time I was recording different video files in AV format and then I will choose the best one, if any. <laughs> I also recorded different video files with different setups and to be precise, I've recorded without a Barlow, just with a camera, I've recorded with a focal extender 2x from Explore Scientific and I've also recorded with my Televu PowerMate 4x and of course I've also test different exposure times. Playing with different situations like I did, we increase the chances of having at least one better than all the others. It's important for you to know that I'm taking the opportunity of the greatest evening elongation of Mercury planet. If you want to know the better moments to watch Mercury, just Google Mercury elongation. And here are the results after processing. This one just with a camera, without any Barlow. This one with a 2x Barlow. And this one with a 4x Televu Paramate, which is the one that catch more detail. Barely catch those details on the planet. A little bit less of the sun interference and all those faint details would pop. Now click on one of those videos on the screen to watch more content related to this. And by the way, I didn't record the children watching it due to the confusion that it was at the moment. Thank you for watching. Ad they, can in they can inadvertently 